Hi everyone. So in this video, we're gonna see do chipsets in the laptop motherboard. So as you can see here, this is basically the laptop or the motherboard block diagram. So this is the CPU or the central processing unit, as you can see. Okay. Here we have the front side bus. This is the GMCH or the graphic memory controller hub. So this is the GMCH or the North Bridge. Okay. And over here we have the ICH or the input output control hub. Okay. The CPU, as you can see, is connected to the GMCH via the FSB bus or the front side bus, as you can see. Okay. And the GMCH is connected to the ICH or the third bridge via this bus, the DMI or direct media interface. Okay. So the GMCH, as you can see, is connected to the memory slots, as you can see here. So the memory can be a DDR1, DDR2, DDR3, DDR4 etc and also is connected in the other side to to graphic ports okay like vga like hdmi etc okay so sometimes you you can find in some motherboards that the graphic card is separated from the north bridge okay so here we have the ich basically the ich is one of the important chipsets in the motherboard it is connected to the bios or basic input output system and to all peripherals in the motherboard the hdd the odd or optical disk drive including all ports and connectors in the motherboard and of course the clock generator ic is the ic that is responsible for generating the timing or the clock for the whole chips and circuits in the motherboards okay so as you can see here this is a real block diagram of a real motherboard as you can see so as you can see this is the cpu or the central processing unit okay and here this is the north bridge or the gmch okay so the gmch is connected via front side bus as you can see fsp to the processor and here we have the ich okay it is connected via dmi to the gmch so the north bridge is connected to the rams or memories here we have ddr2 and also connected to the graphic ports as you can see and here, as you can see, the chipsets or the third bridge is connected to all ports and other parts of the motherboard, including the hard disk drive, the system BIOS, the wireless card, okay, and all connectors in the motherboard. So, and here, as you can see, this is the clock generator, as you can see. This is the, the clock generator, I see, that is responsible for generating the clock for the whole motherboard. Here we have the system power. This is the DC to DC system power, as you can see here, okay? That contain all power management ICs, including charge IC, 3 volt, 5 volt IC, etc. 